please consider supporting The Veil via Patreon or our merch store, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Right. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, no. Oh, uh, huh. You will not be to have the winning lottery number there, would you? No, I don't. Goodbye. Fucking lottery fucking numbers, I... What's the matter, bud? Oh, these... These fucking cunts asking for the winning lottery numbers all the time. Do I fucking head in? Oh, 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 uh. Hello, you fruiter. Welsh utilities. How can I help? You will not be to have the winning lottery numbers, would you? No, we, we don't have them here, we... <laughs> Do you have... The winning lottery numbers. Oh, fuck me. They, they won't stop asking. Uh, Alan, what's happening to you? What in God's cock is happening? You ain't up to have the winning lottery numbers with you. <laughs> Fuck this! <laughs> Do you have a winning lottery numbers? <laughs> What's the matter? I had that fucking nightmare again. The one where Nickelback replaced Charles Kroger with Ed Sheeran. No, not that one. The Lottery Balls one. Fuck me, Sand. I've got to get out of there. I I can't take it up more. This is Valley's Radio, giving you the rockiest rock classics. And now some sweet vocal stylings from Chaz Kroger and a cold rock classic. If I bleed tonight, I'm dead today. Do it, be, 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 damn girl. Hey, good morning, Mr. Potato Head. Why do you always insult me? It's because I love you, man, and I want to keep you grounded. You having a fry-up or what? No, I'm, uh, sort of on a diet. You're on a diet? Fuck me. They'll have to close down two wagon wheel factories now. I'm fucking winding you up, man. Well done, Torn. This is good for you, mind. Nah, I'm okay, thanks. I'm, I'm gonna go and meet Deacon now. I'm just gonna have a rive eater. Well, if you need any tips or advice on keeping in shape, let us know. I mean, look at this, Torn. Fucking look at that. This is sex. Your mother can't keep her hands off me. Mm, yeah. Sandra likes a bit of you, don't she, boy? Mm, yeah. Who's looking good to I'm me? just going to go Who's now. Rubbly. Mm, who's a bad little boy? This is Meringue News. Your place for everything metal. Boom, doctor, 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 boom, doctor, 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 boom, doctor, doctor, Later, we'll be premiering Korn's newest single, Boom Jack, from their new album, On the Cob. But first, we catch up with Birmingham's finest, Satan's Tits. So, your new album, A Nazi Pedophile with AIDS and No Remorse, is due for release shortly. I've listened to it. It's incredible. Sublime. Pure rage. So what can you tell us about it? The entire album is actually an allegorical cautionary tale about the ozone layer. Ozone layer. If it's the bailiffs, tell them I'm not here. All right, ma'am. I wish there was someone to come and take you away. Bitch. Hey, Dick. I thought we could play Pokemon Go on the way to Horizons. We've been through this. I'm not playing Pokemon Go. I'm just walking with you to Horizons. All right, sorry. Mum! I'm off to Horizons! Bring me back a pack of fags! (sighs) 
This game is fucking dumb. You said you didn't want to play it. I'm only on you until I get some sort of owl Pokemon. After that, I'm just deleting it. I feel dirty having it on my phone. Deacon, I, I don't get why you hate this game so much. Pokemon Go is a normal game. Tons of regular, normal people play it. Oh, what Pokemon team are you on? Uh, we're yellow. Ugh, we're red. Drive on, Griff. I don't want to be seen associating with yellows. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not too fast, though. My eggs are incubating. If virginity has a smell, then that car fucking reeked of it. Yeah, but did you see how many players they had? We need to get Tim out with us. You spoke to him lately? Nah, he's uh, he's deleted his Facebook for some reason. Hey, it's saying you the owl ones are over there. Why are you suddenly so obsessed with owls? Haven't you ever seen that film, Legends of the Guardians, The Owls of Gahul? No. I can remember the first time I saw it. What do you think of that then, babe? It was alright. It changed my life forever. I forgot that film even existed. Come on, let's fucking go. We're gonna be late. What was that? Did you just fart? Oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't hold it in. Oh, I bet you think I'm minging now. Oh, babe, don't be stupid. We're a couple. We're meant to be comfortable in front of each other. It's okay if you fart in front of me. Really? Aye. It's only a bit of air, man. Oh, great. <sighs> oh my god, that is owling. Jesus Christ! I'm gonna chuck up now. Come on then, babe. Time for work. Yeah, I'm coming now. Right, bit of a change up today, guys and girls. We have uh, Justin. Why are you late? Oh, sorry, sir. I, I I was late because I was I was I was looking after my mum, see, because she's really ill. Okay, hope she's all right. Just have a seat. You haven't missed much. Anyway, everyone. Bit of a change up today, guys. Uh, we have PC Savile. Um, sorry, lovely boy. It's Savile. Sorry. PC Savile. Yes, you did tell me. I'm very sorry about that. PC Savile has been so kind to just come in today just to have a chat with you guys. Now, you best be quiet and treat him with respect or else he'll, uh, he'll get the cuffs on you. Ha, 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 ha. Go on, they're all yours. Thank you, lovely boy. And before I begin, I'd like to make it abundantly clear that I have never cuffed a young person without lawful intent. Right. Question for all of you. What is the greatest threat to modern society? You, boy. Um, like murderers or terrorists or something? Not quite. What about you, gingerbread boy? Um, uh... Um, don't ask him, sir. He still breastfeeds. <laughs> nice one, bro. I don't. I don't drink from a boob. Ah, oh, here's a man who seems to have all the answers. Go on, then. What's the greatest threat to modern society? I don't give a fuck. Drugs. It's always drugs, man. Now, we're going to watch this film first, and then we'll have a discussion afterwards. Mitchell, lovely boy, get the lights, please. Hi, I'm Phil White, and this is Drugs and You. This is a drugs den. That is a dead smackhead. What I and Blaine Gwent Police want to avoid is this happening to you. I'm absolutely annihilating you on this Xbox 360 computer game. Uh, what's the point? Hey, what's the matter, bro? It's just 
Since failing my A-levels, I just feel so depressed and uncertain of my future. I used to love playing this Xbox 360 computer game, but it's not taking my mind off it. Here, let me show you some. Yeah, we should try this. What is that? A little bit of sniff. My brother does it with his mates. I bet it'll cheer you right up and stop you from feeling upset about your results. An all too familiar scenario. It's a slippery slope, and believe me, I know. I remember doing my first line of cocaine off the back of my compact disc copy of Terence Trent Darby's seminal album. It's just something I do to make the nights better, I would tell myself. Flash forward a couple of years and there I was, three divorces and thousands upon thousands of pounds of cocaine debt on my shoulders. And if that doesn't sound bad enough, in order to pay off my debt, I had to participate in the adult film industry. Or to be more precise, the homosexual genre. Which, by the way, in case you're interested, they're still available via www.philwhite.com. And then I saw his knob and... Oh, fuck me, Pete. It was amazing. Oh, Al, I'm sorry, but... I, I never would have thought Cherry would do that. Yeah, me too. Do you want to come to the pub with me tonight, eh, or Ah, I'd better not, beat. I, I still got those curtains to iron. Oh, come on. Fuck her, man. Come with me for a sip. We can have a chat about how we can get out of this shit all. Oh, I know it's shit, you, yeah, but it could be worse. How the fuck could it be worse? This place is fucking horrible. Like, over there. Perfect example. Ooh, Carl. He ain't that bad. He's all right, man. Is he fuck? All he ever fucking does is whinge about what day it is. Hiya, Carl. You right to what? Ah, uh, how can you be all right on a Monday? Oh, I wish it was Friday. All right, Carl. Oh, I can't believe it's only Tuesday. Wednesday, hump day today, beat. Yeah, I. Thursday today, beat. Only one sleep until Friday. Hey, Carl. It's finally Friday. We made it, boy. Yeah, but it'll be Monday again now before you know it. Oh, fucking hell. Proper boils by fucking piss that shit does. Monday again, beat. See? Absolute cunt of a man. I know how it looks, but to tell you the truth, I'm happy now, Trace. I'm happier than I've been in years. I've got to be honest, a bit of me's glad we got caught. Yeah, I can see what you mean. Everyone knows where they are now, don't they? It's all out in the open. Ma'am, I'm so bored. And there's no air to sweep. Can I go home? Oh, rich man. You're doing my head in. Sorry, Cher. Oh, it's all right, man. Well, you wanted me to come, you. Oh, go and ask that woman over there if she wants a cup of tea. Make yourself useful. <sighs> Fine. Hey, uh, do you want a cup of tea or coffee while you're waiting? Hello, Richard. Sir? Well, I had to see it to believe it. What, what? What, what do you mean? How you've turned your back on the greatest game known to man. To work with your mother. In a hair salon. You should know better than to turn your back on me, boy. But I, uh, I can't go back to that life. And what about the boys? <sighs> uh, if, if you if you don't want a cup of tea, then I, uh... But you were the best player I've ever had, boy. Since you left, it's been a complete shit show. We, we lost to Tredegar. It was annihilation. They took an absolute... Fucking pounding. Doing and after the game. Come back to us, kid. The team needs you. I need you. If you, uh... Just tell me what happened, boy. Don't I deserve an explanation? I've... I've got some hair that needs to be swept up. As Scott Quinnell is my witness, I will... Find out what happened. Oh, look what you've done now, young man. Do you have anything to say in your defence? I can't believe it's come to this. I was just a hapless 17-year-old who was feeling low about not getting the A-level results I was hoping for and was feeling uncertain and scared about my future. I thought taking a little bit of sniff would help ease my worries. But now I'm addicted to heroin, meth, crack, PCP, and MCAT, also known as Meow Meow on the streets. 
And to top it all off, I've even resorted to smashing my mother's head in with a sledgehammer just to pay for my next hit of street drugs. And your best friend died of a weed overdose. You should have listened to the three Ds. The three Ds? Don't do drugs. Well, Phil, I was going to say that line. It's Mr. White to you, arsehole. I think we can all agree that that was hard-hitting, but necessary. Do we have any thoughts or questions? Yes, lovely boy? Is it true that in the Ronda there are guns on the street? What? Are you in the Ronda? It's like Syria. My mate was telling me they have open gunfights on a nightly basis. This is meant to be an open forum on the issue of drugs, boy. Oh, but there was a bit in that video, end where that boy shoved the needle up his ass. What did you have for? That, lovely boy, was a man injecting amphetamine and water into his anus. Why, though? It's believed by some users that that method provides a more sufficient hit. What do you mean, sufficient? What, what's that mean? Sufficient? How come you go know what that means? It's stronger. It's faster. It's better. Fuck I. Fair play. Fair play? Aye, it's like that one time when I was out by the spa and I saw that smackhead eating a fucking yoghurt with a credit card. It's fucking clever, innit? Okay, now, listen up. I don't like doing these sessions. And I especially don't like doing them with the likes of you. But the reason I have to do them with you is because you are seen as the most vulnerable and the most at risk. And there's a reason for that. And that is because there is no hope for you. You are the gutter of human society. In fact, I don't care if you take drugs or not. If you take so much smack, you burst from the inside out and pop the clogs on the back of home bargains. Well, that's one job more for the coroner and one less for me, boy. Okay. PC Sir Veal, thanks for that very informative chat today. Oh, Chubba Chops, you quiet over there? <sighs> I'm fine. When is that Horizons going to have you working then? Uh, I don't know. We were just learning about drugs today and how we're all worthless. Drugs? Yeah, they teach you the 3Ds? Don't do drugs. Yeah, they, they said that. Good. That's what I like to you. See? It's doing him good, that place is, Sand. Well done, Tony. I've always said you don't need drugs, look, boy. Get eye on a free skin of life. That's my bamboo, which to tell me. I'll tell you a story about someone that has, uh, dabbled with drugs. Who? Your Uncle Jockey. I remember this one time when we were teenagers, and we were offered drugs. Me and Jock were down by Eugene Cross Park. He was copping off with this bird at the time. Lisa Bridgman, her name was. Fuck knows what happened to her. Oh, boys, I got some cork here. You fancy a line or what? Fuck, guy. You know me. I give anything a go, like. <laughs> Woo! You getting on a beat? And there he was, staring me in the face. I knew I had to do something. Ah! <gasps> And I just kept running. No fucking way was I doing that shit. Yeah, I thought I saw him doing something once. Aye, and not just the once. It's all the time with him. Practically ruined his life. Poor fucker's living in a fucking van. But you said once he's been with the most women out of anyone you've ever met. Well, all right, there's that one thing going for him. And he's with Pauline. All right, yeah, and that as well. And doesn't Jockey work on the building site? You know, the one... You were always saying you want to get back to? Fuck me! All right, Jesus! I'm not going to sit here and have you fucking chatting me back all night. I'm fucking going in there. Fucking not even my fucking kid. Fucking trying to set him right and he's fucking answering me back. Fucking know it all. Fucking la da Fucking fat fuck. 